Good morning. So today we're setting up on maintaining this AC. So as you can see, there's a lot of junk there. Okay, like needles, like from the pine trees right there. So when you have this kind of situation, and it's just it's not just dirt inside the unit, you have to take this thing out, okay, and vacuum it. That's my vacuum, okay? So if it's that big, you can't just wash it because it's so big pine needles, okay? So what we have to do first to make sure we're safe is take this off, okay? That's out of the way. So when you're doing it by yourself, homeowners, you can do it, okay? But you gotta have to make sure that you turn off the power. You have your vacuum ready. Using a 716 drill bit for this type of unit, just that's big. Take it out, okay? Take it out one by piece, one piece at a time. So once you get all of this out, okay, there's four of them, put them in a safe place. You see, when you pull this out, there's a wire here. So when you swing it, you swing it to this way, and then you can set it there because if you're working by yourself, you have no one to hold it. So what you got to do is lift it up and swing right there. Okay, you swing it right there, and that should be fine. You see that? It's holding here. So that's fine okay so in that you have an access to this then you can start doing your vacuum so that's how you do it you can just see okay. so satisfying when you clean this up how thick it is it's like two inches three inches of junk in here so that's what happened also like some of them are like from the mulch that the landscaper are dropping and when they do it they just drop it everywhere so the landscaping stuff are getting in here you see how quick it is you gotta make sure you have a big vacuum so the job is a lot easier you don't have to dig it all out um, but as I said if it's just dirt you can just wash it off you know, and it will drain to these holes. These are the drain here. So it's also important that the unit is higher than the ground. So this one is like almost level to this. So it's kind of hard to maintain when it's like that. So I would recommend this one to get another pad. So it would be higher. Okay, so you just gotta keep cleaning it. Okay, just the same thing over and over. And then once you know that there's no more pine needles, you can wash off the rest of it, okay? So. Okay, so it's the same thing over and over. I'm not gonna make this video a lot, but once you have this open, okay, this is just a short video. Since you already have this open like that, since you already have it open like that see how quick it is it was like two minutes and it's clean so once you open it like that so you can spray this with foam you know coil cleaner if you're watching my other videos I have the brand I use for condenser cleaner you can just spray foam all of this inside you know and then spray foam also outside not spray foam like spray foam like those great stuff it's just like um, it's a condenser cleaning it will get in as a liquid and it will bubble up like a foam but it will loosen up all the dirt okay so that's what you should do then once this all clean up then you put it cover back in so it's just basic, basically reverse of what I did okay but that's a quick way to clean up this thing I'm just gonna be a five minute video but hopefully guys you, you subscribe 
or follow or click the like button to see all of my stuff okay this is just a quick five minute video on how to clean when it's that much dirt inside a unit okay you gotta use a bigger vacuum like this rigid 14 gallons okay it's really easier to work with and see you to the next video bye